What immediately tells you someone is a trashy parent? My husband hates his mom. She's always been possessive of him and breaks up all his relationships to make sure she's the only woman in his life. She tell him that she's the ideal woman for him because she can cook and clean for him, like a proper woman should, and that his woman should be able to birth multiple babies. She said that he'd never find anyone like her because women are now more focused on their careers. She tried to drill this mentality into him, so she nearly dropped dead when he married me, a career-driven woman who had no interest in babies. My mother-in-law never missed an opportunity to tell me that I wasn't fit to be my husband's wife since I wasn't more like her, and that I should quit my dream to be a lawyer because a woman belongs in the kitchen, and that my only dream should be to give her grandbabies. She even asked me how I was going to find time to cook him all his meals and fold his laundry if I was never going to be home. I told her that he was a grown butt man and he could do all that himself. She gasped offendedly and said that she could see our marriage failing within a month. Whenever she'd say things like this, my husband would call her out on it and say that she was being disrespectful, and she almost fell to her knees crying whenever he reminded her that he also wanted to wait to have kids. She would claim that I manipulated him and put those ridiculous ideas into his brain because he was fine before I brainwashed him. Her antics never ended because every now and then she'd stop by our house to ask us how often we were doing it and when she could be expecting grandkids. She demanded that she plan the baby shower for her grandson, and that she be in the delivery room. That's when I had to explain to her like she was five that I was going to take the LSAT so that I could attend law school, and there was no chance she would have a grandbaby anytime soon. She asked me why I was trying to unalive her, and made a gross comment about her being a better woman for her son. I didn't see her much after that and the next couple of weeks were spent stressing about the LSAT and trying to catch up on studying but failing miserably. I hate to admit it, but there was still a part of me that wanted to prove to my mother-in-law that I was fit to be my husband's wife. When exam day came, I was jittery and anxious because I had a lot riding on this. However, nothing could have prepared me to see my mother-in-law at my house on the day of my exam with a cheesy smile, and a coffee with my name on it. She told me she wished she didn't make a big deal out of wanting grandkids, and she really just wanted us happy. I thought things would finally change, so I drank the coffee that morning, and by the time I sat down and stared at my exam, I wasn't feeling anxious anymore, and all the distractions around me were suddenly gone. At that moment, it was just me, the exam, and all the answers in my brain. I worked my way through every one of the questions, never losing focus on what I was reading or staring off into space, which was exactly what happened during my study sessions. When the exam was over, I went home in such a good mood, confident I had passed. I was surprised to see my mother-in-law still at home, and she immediately asked me how my exam went. I told her I had never been so focused before and that I would be in law school in no time after this. She started to get angry, but not at me. She took out her phone and started yelling at someone for her money back. I didn't understand what she meant by that until it hit me that she was talking about the coffee she gave me, but I still didn't get what she was saying. Though, the coffee was the only thing out of place in my routine, which changed everything for me. When I asked her what coffee brand she gave me, she ignored me, which made me assume the worst. I was about to ask her more about it, but then my husband walked into the living room, and I excitedly told him that if I passed my exam, then I would be on track to going to law school and the coffee his mother gave me earlier that morning helped. My mother-in-law interrupted as soon as I said that to ask us about our plans for having kids, and I reminded her that I wanted to wait a couple of years before having a baby because I wanted to get through law school first. I think my putting my career over her grandkids again is what set her off because the next thing I knew, she was accusing me of being a substance addict and said my husband should divorce me because he clearly couldn't be with a woman who uses. I knew that's when she finally lost it. My husband looked at me suspiciously and asked what his mom was saying. The hell did I know? He questioned his mom on it, and she blurted out that substances were the only reason I did well on my exam, and it had nothing to do with coffee. But I don't do any type of substances, I don't even know what they look like. I confronted her about her accusation and asked what made her so sure that I was taking substances because the only thing I had all day was the coffee she gave me. She immediately looked like a deer caught in headlights, and I asked what she put in my drink. When she didn't answer, my husband demanded to know what she had laced my coffee with, and if she didn't tell the truth, then he was going to get a vasectomy and she would never get her grandkids. That's when she confessed that the coffee had magic mushrooms in it, and they were supposed to make me feel loopy during my exam. Except, all I felt was hyper-focused and clear-minded. Whatever my mother-in-law actually gave me only helped me out more, and I doubt they were substances to begin with. I asked her the brand's name again, and she said it was called Clarity Brew. She said that I would get into a high state of mind, where I would find clarity and that's why she bought it for me. When I searched for it, I saw it was just a focus-inducing coffee filled with lion's mane and chaka mushrooms. They were cognitive-enhancing ingredients known for stimulating the brain and keeping it alert. I guess she thought the mushrooms in it were substances, and that's why she offered it to me in the first place. Thankfully, her plan didn't work, or else I would have been effed, and my career would have been over before it started. My husband immediately sent her packing after her attempt at sabotaging me came to light, and he was now in no contact with his mom. Though he's been getting messages from his family members for leaving his mother on the streets, as she put it. As for me, I ordered Clarity Brew because I always wanted to be that focused and productive again when doing any task. Sometimes I was absent-minded, and it would be good to have the coffee on hand whenever I needed it. I had the right idea in mind because when I saw my LSAT score of 178, which I had never gotten on any practice test before, I knew I would need Clarity Brew regularly in law school to succeed. 